In the following video, um, we're going to uh, go to the system preferences to the security and privacy tab in order to, uh, and select the file vault tab in order to enable disk level encryption uh, on our device. And the reason why we're gonna do that is because if our device was ever to get in the hands of someone who it didn't belong to, uh, file vault secures all the data on the hard drive when it's in a sleep or shutdown uh, state. So the first thing that we're going to do is um, we will be required to enter in the uh, administrator password uh, for our device. Um, and so we can ask for assistance in doing so. And then once we do so, um, once we've uh, enabled the administrative uh, password, we're going to go ahead and turn on file vault. Um, we have to determine uh, who is able to uh, unlock the disk and so we definitely want to enable the administrator of the device here at Blake to uh, uh, decrypt the disk and um, they will need to go ahead on the support services team and enter the password accordingly. Um, and in this case, um, I also want to have my user account um, have the ability to uh, decrypt all the files on the startup disk using um, my uh, password. And once I do so, I'm going to go ahead and click continue. And then this is a really important step. Um, the recovery key is a safety net which it can be used to unlock the device if you ever forget your password. Uh, so we've put in a couple of checks and balances. We've allowed the administrator to uh, recover the device. We've allowed your personal account to recover the device. But let's just say the worst case scenario happens and the passwords uh, uh, are forgotten. This information is absolutely critical uh, in order to unlock the device. And so what I would suggest doing, I'm going to pause the video in a moment in order to do so, is storing this recovery key, which won't unlock. This is a last resort uh, in a safe and secure uh, space. So for example, in your Google Drive account uh, in a uh, file that only you would have access to. I've gone ahead and I've opened up a Google uh, Doc that only I have access to. I've copied, I've highlighted the um, item and I've gone ahead and I've copied that. And so this is going to be my file vault to in recovery key. And I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. And this is again just a last resort that I need to store in a safe and secure place. Um, and when I go ahead and click continue, I'll then get two more choices about having Apple store this on my behalf as well. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and say that Apple can store the recovery key uh, as well. And then I get to choose a number of questions uh, that I need to make sure that I will know the exact answers to if I ever need to call Apple to help me uh, recover um, the information. Um, so I'm going to take a moment to do so now. I've gone ahead and I've entered in the recovery uh, security password um, and uh, questions. And so I'm going to go ahead now, um, and the last part of this process is to go ahead and click uh, restart. Um, and once I do so, it's going to take a few minutes for uh, uh, encryption on the device to uh, work. So uh, this is the last step in terms of enabling uh, file vault. Once you have logged back into your computer after the restart, you'll notice that the first window that will pop up is the security and privacy pane in your system preferences, and it will show you that it's uh, encrypting the drive, and it can take anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes, depending on the amount of materials on your drive. Uh, make sure you don't put your computer to sleep or turn it off while File Vault secures the data on your disk, and once it's done, it will be something that you can set and forget.